Nope. Ah. So this happened literally four minutes ago while I was shooting a video showing polyurethane foam and with all that foam, a bunch of that just kind of like dusted off of it the entire cut. And the reason that I did not have my dust boot on is because it makes for a lot better YouTube video and you can actually show it cutting, which I guess was the mistake that I made. Uh, foam, when you're cutting it, it gets a lot of static electricity built into it, so it starts clinging to things and it clanged to the metal. And in my mind, that's what happened when this block right here on the X or Z or whatever you want to call it, uh, actually, I think, sucked up some of the dust and this is now seized up. Now, I'm hoping that this is a software issue and not a hardware issue. I have not updated the machine. And this is the first time that it has actually skipped over some lines of code which resulted in, uh, one second, in this. It actually came out above where it was supposed to be cutting and part ruined. There's a lot of things that it could have contributed to that. I'm not exactly sure because this is the first time that something like this has happened to me. Really hope that my CNC is not fully broken. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to suck up as much of this dust as possible, blow off the rest of it, and then I'm going to shut down the controller and then I'm going to restart the machine and I'm gonna see if I can actually move this back and forth. Now, I don't know if it's going to or not. If it does not, then I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna get on the forums and I'm just gonna start talking to people and see what happens. Um, I have been running this thing pretty hard, but honestly, I've had it for what, like a few months now? So hopefully it's a fluke. I don't know, let's find out. I can't help myself. I'm just gonna see if it moves. Nope. Oh God, no, that did not move at all. So let's not put it on the fastest setting again. See, this is moving. It's perfectly fine. Now let's see about that. Nope. Ah. Okie dokie. Time to go to the forums. So people in forums are incredibly helpful. What that is, is the Y-axis gantry block. Now, what has happened, at least I'm 90% sure, is a bunch of chips have gotten stuck inside of the ball screw housing thing. So we're gonna crack that open, hopefully clean it out, and see if it works. So this is the Y-axis gantry block, specifically the one on the left. That is the one that I'm dealing with today. And this right here is the housing for where the ball screw goes in and I think that's where a ton of debris is actually catching up. So we've got a few screws here. We're gonna loosen those, take it out. We're going to try and push this off so that we can actually work on it. I will go ahead and link down a video to Onefinity cleaning theirs. They don't have their machine put together. They just have a single axis, which makes all this look like it's really easy. But I'm gonna try and do this without taking this off. Let's see what happens. Here's a little bit closer, but that is what we're looking to take off, slide over, and clean.
So we took it apart, cleared it out, oiled it up, and then put it back together. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the machine on and see if it moves. Okie dokie. So. No reason why that shouldn't work. Um, moment of truth. Here we go. So all of that worry for nothing. Well, I guess all that worry because I don't clean my stuff. I'm gonna go through, do all three of those and learn my lesson. So thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, I'm always posting new stuff. Thanks.